A response to you, Nico. This isn't personal. You've taken it very personally and now you've personally attacked me. You go on like, oh, I'm injured as fuck, mate. You got a bad, a bad shin, a bad back, a bad hand, but you were still gonna turn up to fight. Of course you was, because I'm the man. And I, I'm the fucking green and gold. I'm the champion. You've got everything to gain, nothing to lose. And when I do bat you and spark you out, you know, it'll be, well, it's Nathan Bender and he's, he's the man. So, the weight situation is, everyone knows that the scales aren't always calibrated. You're massive, you are massive. Rumour has it, and this is only rumour, so I can't say for sure, but the sex and fight was made at 63 and a half, and then it had to get moved to 65. And then once you'd done the weighing, you said to a certain someone, I ain't doing, I ain't doing 65, I'm gonna move up. And then that was me thinking, oh, so is he gonna make the weight? So I said to Calder, I want calibrated scales, and I want, you know, I want to make sure he's going to make the weight. Ask him if he's going to make the weight on calibrated scales. You return and said, yes, sweet, the fight's on. Now, what else? Oh, the fact that I didn't want to fight the 25th of June, it's no secret. I didn't want to fight the 25th of June. I said to Brian Calder, Last year, when I beat Brian Tutty, I don't want to fight, I can't fight in June. I'm busy, I've got a stag do, which I'm best man for the wedding for. And then the week before the show, there's the wedding, so I'm, and I'm best man there. I've got other obligations, I'm busy, I can't fight. All right, cool, Nathan, don't worry. Then, I spoke to Calder, I didn't know if you was matched or not. Clearly you wasn't, so I don't know where I would have got that idea from. But that doesn't matter anyway. So I spoke to Calder, I spoke to my team, I said, they said, do you want to stay active before the Ferrari fight? It's a big fight, you want to stay active? I said, all right, cool. I said, well, let's contact Calder then, we'll get a fight for the 25th of June. Even though I don't really want to fight around that time. I'll go on a stag, I won't go mad, I'll have a little pop and that, but I won't go mad. And you know, the. The wedding, I'll just, I just won't go and eat the food. I'll just, you know, do the speeches and come home. All right, sound. So, Cole has come back and said, the only fight for you is Nico Carrillo. Said, wow, I don't really want to fight Nico Carrillo with, you know, a stag do halfway through. It's the biggest domestic fight everyone's talking about. Also, I don't, I don't want to fight him for the wages that I've been offered. So, he's come back, spoke to you, obviously. You've come back and saying, no, no, we, we want to fight Bendon. That's cool. Offered me more money, the money that I, I requested to fight, yeah? Then, I decided, right, I'm going to put my heart and soul into this fight camp, and I'm going to give it him, we'll, we'll give him the fight. I haven't gone on the stag do. It's cancelled my, my flight to, the, to Spain for the stag do. And, uh, I've stayed in the gym, doing what I can with one leg, being able to try and get round it, making it possible to get in the get in that ring. But it's just it just isn't. Now, no one can question my heart and if I'm scared and if I'm just talking bravado. Look at the people that have fought on short notice. Look at the people that have fought through my career. Do you think I'm scared of you? Like, yeah. I've said it before, I respect you, I think you're good. I think you're gonna be great, I really do. I said the same thing about Chris Shaw. I, I really think he's gonna be great. But I am better. I was better than Chris and I'm better than you. So when the day does come that you wanna fight, that I'm healed, I'll fight you, as long as I'm above 70%, and I'll smash you.
just going back to that fighters fight and you know weight isn't a problem if you're if you're so upset and you know you you was going to turn up the 25th of june still fight still headline the show what's your problem you know i don't think you was we don't know uh, and the way this was the last time I was ever going to make 63 and a half. I'm moving up. I'm, I'm too big for the weight. Exactly. Exactly. So you can obviously understand my, uh, my questions about calibrated scales, can't you? If you, if you are what you say you are and what you, you know, what you perceive to try and be, Fight, fight, fight! Super Showdown. Fight Jet Sarder, who's got the WBC world. Fight him, fight him for your world title. Because that interim Iskatar that you just won against that shit bag ain't ain't nothing, is it? You you're upset. I understand. I'm upset because I don't get to fight you. You're upset because you don't get to fight a fucking legitimate world champion, someone that beat a world level fighter for a world title. And I'm sorry, I am sincerely sorry that we won't get that opportunity on the 25th of June. Although, you can have the fight when when we both, you know, have have time in our diaries. You know, like you say, you've got things booked up. Um, I've got rehab to go through and hopefully Ferrari to go through if, if all being well and it's nothing too serious. Um... And we can do it any way you want, mate. Any fucking way you want. Now, sorry for the 13 long minute video, but I just had to get my point across. Now, I don't really care what all you shitbags say in Scotland. I battered every Scottish person I fought, so I, I certainly ain't scared of you. The, the people that know me, the people that have been in my gym, and been in this camp with me will clarify my situation will know that I ain't lost my bottle and will know that I'm legitimately injured yeah and that's all that matters to me so have a good fucking day and uh good luck 66